I didn't want to make this video. I wanted to come home, fucking maybe put on YouTube, crank one out, and just, just go to bed for the night, come back up, wake up refreshed. But letting when you let things sit on the back burner and you let the rumor mill circulate, shit just gets out of hand. I don't think his music's good. I think he's like, to me, like his, his act is kind of boring. But I don't need to, to dog him or ruin somebody's time that does like Drake. The whole point of this is to not let rumors circulate, right? Uh, and and I, I feel it's only uh, appropriate to at least address things from my side. As you guys, I'm sure a lot of you are here. You guys probably saw... Uh, uh, Shaggy's post on Instagram today. I have some bad news, but good news. The bad news is officially the Shaggy and Creep show will no longer be streaming, nor the Pellcast. But keep your panties on because coming very soon is the Shaggy show. Woo! And also, fret not, you can still check Keegan out on Twitch and all the endeavors he has going on. I guess you could consider a bad news, but there's good news too, right? And and that's, I think, what we're going to have to focus on. Uh, I know I got off the plane and my phone was on fire, uh, pretty much. I The alerts, the texts, the... The messages, tagged in posts, it's, it's just, it's, it's really overwhelming right now. So I, I probably am going to be taking a couple days off of social media uh, for the time being. But, but I feel I, it, it's not cool uh, to leave you guys in the dark from my, from my point of view. And again, everything I'm saying tonight is coming from Uncle Keegs. I don't like speaking for anybody. I don't, everybody's uh, an adult and can do what they want. Um, you know, and, and how they feel fit. So for me, this is how I feel fit. I, I've, I've been doing live streaming now. Uh, I've been on Twitch for a long time. We've been doing Shaggy and the Creep Show for, uh, for so long, for going on three years now. And uh, I feel like a lot of you guys, man, it's like you're, you're in my personal life. And, and I look at a lot of you guys as close friends, uh, pals, uh, lovers. Uh, compadres, whatever you want to call it. So I just, I feel there's a moral obligation, a weight off my shoulders to at least convey that to you. And I owe it to you. You guys have supported me. Even if you're watching and you're just watching, hoping to catch some drama, I'm just going to give you a spoiler alert. That's not going to be what tonight's about. So I don't do drama. I don't, I don't do none of that silly stuff. So I, I just more than anything wanted to come on here and I wanted to thank each and every one of you guys, but it was just important to to me to um, to do this because with every bit of bad news comes a little bit of good news, and I think that needs to be the focus of everything. So, um, yeah, I'm great. I'm fantastic. Everybody's fine. Everything's good. Nobody hates nobody. So I want to address that first, right? Because man, have I been getting tagged in ridiculous just outlandish uh, uh things posts comments rumors and i'm not cool with that so i just want to address that i just want to address that whatever you do with it from here on out that's up to you but um no there is absolutely no bad blood at all i can't stress that i will i will go into that a little bit more later on um but i want to focus on the positivity later and let's just get the rumors and, and the dumb shit out of the way, please. Um, first and foremost, yeah, is people speculating there was bad blood. There isn't. There isn't. I, I couldn't have bad blood. Uh, you're talking about three of the greatest years of my life. There's nothing that I can be upset about, right? So uh, there's no bad blood there. Uh, I, I, there's, there's not many... Men I would kiss on the lips, but Shaggy Too Dope would be one of them. So uh, that's first and foremost. And that's, hey, God strike me down if I'm lying. Uh, let's get that out the way. And number two, is this stupid fucking rumor that P. 
people were mad because I took a photo with Lex the Hexmaster at Gorefest, uh, which has led to... I've seen these rumors so early, but I just shrugged them off and laughed. Now people think that's serious, right? For, let, me just, let me just give you this story, too. So I went to Gorefest in Denver this year. Phenomenal scum. Thank you guys for having me out. It was awesome. Uh, I got there, I think day two is a little late. Light was on stage, and that's my boy. And uh, uh, I was with my homie class, who was there as well. And we decided we were just going to run up on stage and, and grip Light up and give him a hug and maybe a little kiss on the cheek. And uh, he didn't know we were, he, that we were there, so um, we wanted to show him some love. So we did that. Everything was cool. And later on, we get off the stage, and I see uh, backstage Lex the Hexmaster. I've never met him. Never met him before. And he approached me, and he was like, yo, uh, I absolutely love the show, man. Like, it's fucking awesome. Uh, it's cool to meet you. We shook hands. I was like, oh, shit, man. I'm like, fucking cool to meet you as well, you know? Uh, he, he couldn't have been nicer. He couldn't have been more down to earth uh, than that. I, I've never experienced any shade ever thrown his way online or up to that point. I just, I never met him, right? So, um, uh, yeah, so that, that, that was cool. Later on in the night, um, we were watching the show and he, he respectfully, and I want to put this out there, he respectfully came up to me and said, hey man, is it cool if I get a picture, if we take a picture together? And I was like, dog, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. So we took a photo together. I think we had a drink together. Um, nice dude. I mean, I, 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 if you're looking for drama there, I don't know what to tell you, right? Like, that dude's not done nothing wrong to me. He hasn't done anything wrong to anybody I care about. Uh, so this little drama stuff, it's just crazy. It's just, it's silly. So nobody had no issues with that. I don't even think anybody even knew about it, to be honest. It was just, it was just wild. So, um... I just want to squash that out there, that uh, and which led to Keegan's working with them and, e and projects. That's just silly. That's just silly. So uh, that was my experience uh, with Lexa Hexmaster. That was the story of the photo. But anyways, yeah, I wanted to, to clear that up. I, I, I hate. I just. I'm sorry. I feel weird. I fucking hate. I hate drama and stuff. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Was really cool looking back at all this is. How polar opposites me and Shaggy are, right? Um, how how polar opposites we are. We, I think that's what made it funny, though, right? That's what made it funny, but that's what kept it real. We live two totally different lifestyles, um, and and I, I'm I want to touch on that a little bit later too, because I I got a lot I want to say about that. And uh, but yeah, it, so so I'm, forgive me if if I'm all over the place, but I don't like doing. I didn't want to make this video. I wanted to come home, fucking maybe put on YouTube, crank one out, and just just go to bed for the night, come back up, wake up refreshed. But letting when you let things sit on the back burner and you let the rumor mill circulate, shit just gets out of hand. And if you don't put your foot down and 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 hush the noise, then then it just it's going to be too wild. Other rumor is that anybody uh, psychopathic related. Uh, Put a stop to the show, kicked us out. That just didn't happen. Nobody's done that. There hasn't been any anything remotely close to that. That's just that's silly. Shaggy and the Creep Show was a separate entity of Psychopathic Records, right? Um, and it worked best that way. It worked best that way for everybody. And given all the projects Psychopathic was doing and what we were doing, man, if you try to just do everything under one hub that that's a lot man that's a lot so it, it worked best and everything kept separate but there was no i mean we had hatcher men on our fucking clothes so any of that is just silly it's silly um nothing more needs to be said on that but um uh, so those are the those are the three big. I don't know if there's any more rumors. If you guys have seen a rumor that I haven't addressed yet, maybe we can uh, address it. An another rumor that that was going around um, was uh, what happened between uh, Josh and 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 Ouija, uh, a, 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 I don't know an argument, uh, if you will say. Um, I'm just now learning about this myself, and like I said, I was out of town. So uh, I'm trying to catch up on everything. 
and uh, I, I think it got blown out of proportion, uh, my honest opinion, and a little, little silly, little silly, I'll say it, I told Josh, are you driving back here, it's like, you know, I, I understand sometimes people argue, or they get into a fight, or they, they, they see one thing, one thing you got to remember is, uh, Ouija's our brother, you know, uh, regardless, and the Chapter 17 guys, and that whole crew, uh, have been nothing but, but awesome to, to myself, and I know to Josh as well, so, uh, I do want to address that, because that, that, that isn't a rumor, that's not a rumor, and, um, Josh is here too, and, uh, fully understands, hey, sometimes, sometimes arguments go like that, I mean, I'll just be honest with you, I, I have a family, and I fight with my dad probably like twice a month, right? And then you just realize that you love each other and you get a beer away and you, you, you move on. I mean, th there's no surprise there. Everybody fights. I fight with fucking Josh on and off. I can't tell you how many times. It's like, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not making an excuse. I'm not saying one person was right and one person was wrong. I think it's silly across the board. Um, and it's silly because I know I know for a fact Josh loves Ouija. I know Ouija loves us. Um, but again, I don't want to, uh, to, to speak for anybody. If Josh wants to come over and say something, he can. If he wants to, to wait and do it on his own time, he can. Um, I'm not here to speak for nobody besides myself today. I'm just giving you everything from my point of view. Um, uh, either way, so there's there's the four things that, that I that I, I've I've addressed here. I just want this after today, hopefully, to just quiet the noise a little bit, and everybody can can move forward with what we've been working on because we've all been working on stuff behind the scenes, and we've all got projects that we're passionate about and things that we've been doing, um, and 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 that's that. Kids, uh, can we play Mario now? No, no Mario tonight. Anyways, so let's move forward. Uh, again, I'm not speaking for anybody else at all. That's not cool. So just from my point of view, here's my stance on everything. Uh, I just want to say first and foremost, I absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, everything in me, love, cherish, would take a bullet for, would do anything for to this day, to everybody that has been involved in Shaggy and the Creep behind the scenes. I have been blessed, blessed for three plus years um, to, to do what I've been able to do and to be such a small part of something so awesome. But we're just at different points right now of what we want to do and what we want to create. So the Shaggy show is going to pop off. I'll tell you right now, I'll be one of the first to subscribe. Whatever merch gets dropped, I'm going to be one of the first to buy the fucking merch. Maybe this isn't the answer some of you guys wanted. I know a lot of people are hoping they can tune in and get a clip of me saying some off-the-wall dramatic, spilling some beans. If you guys know anything about me or you followed me at all for years, I don't do that. I don't do drama. And he knows, he knows damn well. I don't give a fuck whatever he wants to do. If there's a video popping off and he needs old Uncle Keegs to be in it, I'll be there fucking ready to work, baby, wait. Ready to work, baby, wait. And I'm sure vice versa. So this isn't like we're, we're not talking. We hate each other. It's just, it, it's nothing but love. Sure, the Shaggy and the Creep projects are not happening. Right? They're not what it used to be. But Shaggy content is happening. Creep content is happening. You know, I love the Shaggy and the Creep shits with all my heart. There's there's no getting around it. There's It's it's forever, pal, yeah. I'll see you in a little bit. Pal, yeah! Oh, my bandit Joseph, my, my lovely, just act like you love me, please, please, look at me, please, please, please.